गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स द आई ए ओ एस यू वी बी आई विथ एम ए एच सी सिस्टम द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट अफोर्डेबल सिस्टम वॉट इज यू वी बी आई दिस वन ए कॉम्बिनेशन इन्वर्टेड बाई आई ओ एस इंक्लूड्स अल्ट्रा वायलेट ब्लड इरेडिएशन here the blood is irradiated with a uv wavelength of 245 plus minus 5 for a wide range of benefits what is mahd mahd expands to major auto hemotherapy mahd major auto hemotherapy is mixing of ozone and blood and retransfusing the same into the patient and the real time hd video without any stop or break or speeding up shows the entire procedure step by step first the vacutainer bottle and special transfusion set are primed with 3000 units or 0.0.75 ml of apparent each in a 5 cc syringe around 1.5 ml of apparent is extracted less than an ml is allowed to go in the vacutainer bottle which is primed and then again 0.75 ml of heparin is injected into the special rubber and contaminant free ozone compatible infusion set which is provided by iaos you can use any ozone compatible transfusion sets please ensure that it is plastic dpta free and rubber free 0.75 ml of heparin 5000 units per ml that is approximately 3000 units will just coat the interior of the transfusion set the set is passed through the uv radiation unit before the business end is connected to a butterfly which is inserted into the patient's vein the set is passed through a special uv hanger we do not switch on the ultraviolet rights as yet we will wait for the blood to be filled and then ultraviolet irradiate the blood the butterfly is connected and once the prime set is ready a tourniquet is tied and the vein is identified once the vein is punctured the transfusion set is opened up and 60 ml of blood is allowed to gush into the bottle you can see a tourniquet being applied the vein being identified the butterfly being inserted into the vein 
This was a patient of avascular necrosis with very flimsy veins and during last two occasions we had to prick him multiple times to get the veins. But since he is on therapy, his veins have opened up and now we can see the gush of blood coming in beautifully. MAHP and IBU open up constricted veins and ensure generalized hypervascularity in the body and that is why, that is one of the reasons why his AVN has reversed, head has not collapsed, he had picked grade 3 on both sides but he has managed uh, for 18 months without regime and the heads are now practically normal. You can see the great speed at which the blood is gushing into the vacuity in a bottle. The bottle has four marks and the lowest mark indicates that 50 ml of blood has been collected into the bottle. We wait till the bra mark is crossed. Once the 50 ml mark is crossed, the blood inflow valve is closed. Now ozone has to be collected to diffuse in the blood. From an ozone machine, we extract 50 to 60 ml of 70 microgram percent or 70 gamma ozone and that will go into the bottle. So we can see that the blood inflow has been stopped. A new 50 cc ozone compatible syringe is taken from the packet. The assistant switches on the machine. The regulator is set at the volume to allow 70 to 80 gamma ozone 60 ml. It is ridiculous to use low doses of 20 to 30 gamma ozone. Minimum 70 gamma or 70 microgram per milliliter is essential. Here the flow is 1 by 8th of a liter per minute and the IOAS Mark 5 machine is on switch 2 and in real time we are seeing 60 milligrams of ozone being pushed into the ozone syringe. Once the appropriate quantity of ozone is collected, a needle is attached, the same is bent at 90 degrees and is pushed into the plus sign in the silicone stopper of the bottle. The plus sign is directly attached to the stainless steel diffuser that is deep inside the blood. And once the ozone goes into the blood, the blood becomes cherry red. The bottle is now inverted and pushed into the ultraviolet chamber. Hung on the stand, the flow valve is opened and the blood is allowed to flow back slowly into the patient. So now you can see the ozone is being pushed and as it is being pushed, you can see the blood being bubbled with ozone 
becoming cherry red and ready for transfusion the bottle is now inverted after it is pushed into the ultraviolet irradiation chamber we wait for the blood to be irradiated before opening the blood for retransfusion into the patient and here the waiting process has been around 10 minutes after which we have begun retransfusing the 50 ml of blood back into the patient the the portion of 20 minute wait has been clipped for the sake of brevity and for interest in the video now the rate 20 minutes of uv radiation is recommended in case you are treating infections viral infection especially the blood can be irradiated longer once we find that the blood flow is reduced an air vent can be introduced and this will speed up the flow of the blood we want the blood to be transfused at around 40 drops a minute the total transfusion period should be 10 minutes plus the irradiation period should be 30 minutes plus ozone the best antiviral antibacterial antiparasitic antifungal and detoxifying agent once the ozonized irradiated blood is empty the set is withdrawn and held up in the air so that the loss of the blood goes into the patient's body the nurse is removing the set and is waiting for the blood to go down and get into the patient's body there is no hurry we have to wait patiently now it is the role of gravity to get the blood back into the body once the blood reaches up to the level of the butterfly we have to close the blood infusion clamp and while the butterfly is removed we need to ensure that thick paddings and tight elastic bandages are applied to ensure that the patient does not accidentally remove the bandage or cause bleeding which often causes panic to the patient we wait till the blood has reached the butterfly and then the butterfly is removed and padding and bandages applied we specifically instruct the patient not to remove the paddings for 
at least four hours. Here, the nurse has not worn a glove because she cannot paste the skin adhesive plaster with a glove. The moment the plaster sticks to the glove, the glove gets torn. Anyway, the patient has had all preoperative investigations that shows that handling his blood is safe. The medical personnel interested in this new system can please message me in WhatsApp and I shall send all the details. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.